you today. I hope you guys are doing so good out there. Today's video, we've got our monthly favorites. We're gonna review all of the favorite things from the month of February. As always, I'll include links to everything down below in the description bar in case you guys wanna check that out. And on that note, let's get started. All right guys, let's start off with some like random home stuff. My first favorite of the month of February is going to be a hand soap. This hand soap is actually the hand soap that I've been using in every single bathroom for like the past like almost six months. I realized that I never shared it with you guys. So this is going to be from the company Yes2. This is their Yes2 liquid hand soap and the flavor that I particularly love is the coconut lemongrass. I've got terrible eczema, super, super thin skin on my hands. Like literally, if I um, don't put on lotion and I go like this, I literally will crack my knuckles and it'll start bleeding. It's like that bad. This is one of the only hand soaps that don't irritate my skin. Gentle, 98% natural. The perfume doesn't smell like artificial perfume. It smells like the actual ingredients. It's very delicate, emollient, and moisturizing. So love this coconut lemongrass one. It's a nice mixture of like luscious coconut with like fresh lemongrass. And then I also like the other two ones, um, the basil grapefruit and the cucumber one. Couple bucks, Target, love it. All right, mother favorite number two. This has been something that Jeremy and I have been eating all during the month of February. We found this pasta at Trader Joe's. These are two different types of gluten-free pastas. So if you guys have celiac disease, or you have any gluten intolerance, oh my God, this pasta is so freaking delicious. I got this first one first. This is the organic black bean um, rotini pasta. And then the second one is the organic red lentil pasta that just came out this month. The black bean one is literally just one ingredient, organic black bean flour. And then the red lentil one is only one ingredient too, organic red lentil flour. I make this guy with some red sauce or like red meat sauce, so great. And then this one, I do English peas with sliced chicken and some pesto, or you can sub the chicken with some ham if you want some more saltiness. If I had to pick one that I like more, I actually like the red lentil one. I think it holds its shape. It has more of like the al dente chewiness of regular pasta versus this one that could get a little bit soft if you're not careful with how you cook it. Colorful, beautiful, so delicious, and you can feel a little bit less guilty about eating a crap ton of pasta. <laughs> Mother favorite number three is actually gonna be a food recipe. I am obsessed with the YouTube channel Jess Beautician, and she made this matcha green chia seed pudding. And before this, I had never tried chia seed pudding before. I was like in shock at how simple it is. Literally, you just throw in some green tea matcha powder, dash of agave nectar or maple syrup, some chia seeds, and then some either coconut or almond milk. Stir it all up, put it in the fridge, leave it on overnight, and in the morning, oh my God. Such an indulgent tasting, creamy chia seed pudding to enjoy. You get all of those nice omega-3s from the chia seeds. I can eat it for dessert, I can eat it for breakfast. You can do tons of different toppings besides the berries and the chocolate. You could do like granola, nuts, you could do coconut, shreds, it's such a great base. I think you could store up in the fridge for like 45 days. You can make a big batch and eat it throughout the week. That's what I've been doing. I'm sure there's a lot of different variations of it and you can make it very simple, but the matcha green powder just adds so much fun, brightness, and color to it. You get that nice matcha taste. Love, love, love it. And if you guys haven't checked out Jess Petition, she is an amazing vegan YouTuber. And even though I'm not vegan, I get tons of great ideas from her. So, so this monthly favorite is almost like the recipe and then her channel. Both have just been excellent. So show her some love and let her know I sent you. Moving on to monthly favorite number four, let's talk about some body care items. Number four has completely revolutionized how my pits smell. <laughs> uh, raise your hand if you have the sweatiest, stinkiest armpits. I found these amazing wipes from Pacifica. These are the natural body care underarm deodorant wipes. The smell that I have is just the coconut milk one. Found this in the travel area as like a 10 size pack. I brought it to me to Colorado. We were playing in the snow. We were sweating our asses off. And I used literally one wipe the first day. And it literally smelled like I just got out of the shower. Girl, I was shook. Like my armpits smelled like beautiful, like coconut milk rose petals. So after I was sold on that sample pack, I actually saw the Pacifica booth at Generation Beauty and I got a full size of this. I think normal price, these are $9 for 30 wipes. This has seriously been one of the best daily like maintenance products that I found and the fact that it is like a more natural product and not chock full of aluminum is insane to me. So love these. I can't wait to try all the other delicious flavors. My pits will just be so happy. And then moving on to my next favorite, I also picked this up at Generation Beauty. This is the Jurgens Ultra Healing Lotion. I'm sorry this is such an unsexy product. I've probably seen this a thousand times at the drugstore, but since I got this sample, I actually got to try it for the first time. Favorite new hand and body lotion. I am addicted to any lotion that is fast absorbing. I do not like any type of thick feeling on my skin. I want something to just like 
immediately and I could get on with my day. And seriously, in a matter of days, it's completely healed all of the open cracks in my skin. I started using this on my body and I can't wait to get through this and just get a big tub of it because um, it is just such a simple, easy drugstore lotion. If you guys are more into like a thicker emollient type of lotion, this one's probably not for you. But if you're a person that's like on the go and doesn't want to feel the weight of a lotion, this is fabulous. Moving on to monthly favorite number six. Upon moving into this apartment, Jeremy and I literally got rid of all of our old duvets, our old sheet sets. We basically had a big mishmash of stuff from our other house in Texas and also like college stuff. So we said, hey, we're gonna be low on space. It's time to invest in some really nice sheets. So we decided to just donate everything we had and just stick with literally like two amazing sets that we love to death. So I ended up doing tons of research and I found this amazing brand. It's actually like a big up and coming like indie brand. I know a lot of people are using this brand now, but it's called Parachute Home. I bought two different bedding sets. I bought the linen set that comes with the duvet, um, a fitted sheet, and then two pillowcases. And then I also got the same set in the percale um, plain cotton. It has made sleeping so much more luxurious and I actually feel like I'm in a hotel when I get into my bed every night. I had no idea what quality sheets, you know, can do to transform your nightly routine and get you into a, a very peaceful state of mind. The linen set is the set that we would probably love the most. Jeremy and I definitely like are hot sleepers. We like, we sweat a lot. It is like fantastic for breathability. Like you get that nice, um, like moisture wicking, like linen feel. It is actually getting softer every time we wash it. Super minimalist colors, like very sophisticated. You can match it and incorporate it in whatever you have in your current closet. Or if you want to be a pure minimalist, it's also great for that too. Just love that white on white. Mm. Mm. Also really appreciate that they have like a 60 day return policy so you can literally like use it and see if you like it. I love this emergence of brands that are really focused on just like pure quality, going directly to the customer, focusing on customer feedback and you know making sure service is five star. Like I just think it's such an amazing trend right now. We have been so stress free with just having two sets of different sheets that we just wash and swap, wash and swap and we love the experience and enjoy it every single night. And then moving on to our beauty section, I have seriously some of the best most effective eye cream I have ever tried I got this from peach and Lily I'm gonna be doing a more in-depth video on all of my Korean skincare but I wanted to show you guys this right off the bat because I saw amazing results this is from the company called Cremor lab Cremor lab and this is their shadow off eye cream I originally was very hesitant that this product was gonna work for me because I am more focused on like puffy eye bags and this is supposed to focus on discoloration dark circles and also fine lines but I've been using this cream every Every single night and seriously my eyes it <laughs> It looks like my eyelids are getting bigger because the puffiness is getting so reduced. My actual like eyelid hood is like at attention. It almost looks like it's revealing a bigger lid for my eyeshadow application. Actually, I have visible results in an eye cream. It's just astounding to me. So um, definitely a big shocker. I'm also trying a few other products from this line and I can't wait to show you guys all of my reviews in that Korean skincare video to come. Moving on to makeup items. The first one, I cannot believe it's taken me so long to try this, you guys, but holy crap. Tar Shape Tape, the best under eye concealer I have ever tried in my life. I got two different colors because one of them is a little bit too dark, one of them is a little bit too light and together they make a beautiful combo. I have the light sand and the light medium honey color that's a little bit more peachy toned. And in case you guys are wondering, I have NC25 to NC30 skin. Not only does it have incredibly high coverage, but it blends into your skin like second skin. I feel like anytime you have high coverage, you always sacrifice the texture it smooths out beautifully. It doesn't feel thick or heavy. It feels weightless. I still love my Maybelline Age Rewind Reverse Concealer too. That is definitely still my favorite drugstore version, but this is definitely a huge upgrade in terms of coverage and then also blendability. It is just, it's top notch guys. And then my last beauty products of the day. This is also a huge cult following that I just jumped on. These are the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops Highlighting Drops. I got two colors, Moonlight and Celestial. Celestial has more of a really light silvery finish and the Moonlight is a little bit more of like pearlescent. I like applying it with a damp little sponge like this and just pat it on because the moisture helps blend the liquid into the skin and it doesn't have any streak marks like you would have with your fingers. Dewy, natural. You want that J-Lo glow? You want to look like an ethereal angel? Some of my 
favorite highlighters. I can't believe I've never tried a liquid base highlighter before. I can't wait to experiment them more, like apply it to my eyes or my foundation. But for right now, I just for like that natural illumination, especially for like a natural no makeup day, I mean, your face will just look so youthful and beautiful. And last but not least, guys, my final two items are gonna be fashion items. I kind of eased it on the fashion stuff because I'm gonna be like hammering you guys with so much fashion stuff for the next few months. First fashion favorite is gonna be a short sleeve sweatshirt from the Sincerely Jewels clothing line. She's one of my favorite bloggers and this is one of her staple items from her clothing line. I've been wearing these guys during this weird, like warm, cold weather. It's got such a great thick sweatshirt material. It's still stretchy, but it's definitely got like a very premium thickness to it. I like that it's slouchy, but I still want it to be a little bit fitted. You don't have the bulk of a big heavy duty sweatshirt, but you get that nice like casual laid back look. It's a great athleisure piece, so comfortable. And when you cuff those sleeves, it's just such a cool girl piece to have. You can wear them with jeans, you can wear it with other sweatpants. Such a surprisingly universal item. Great transitional piece. And then my last item of the day is going to be a new watch brand that I have been enjoying so much. You guys know I have my um, Yode watches, those wooden ones for a nice earthy feel. I also have Daniel Wellington watches that have a nice slick leather band. Well, this brand has definitely been up and coming. This is a brand called Clues. I've seen these guys at Nordstrom. And the reason why I'm starting to get into this brand is because I finally found a metal watch to replace all my thick and heavy Michael Kors watches that I can't wear anymore. This is the 38 millimeter size face with the mesh metal band. So sleek, so minimalist, beautiful um, white face. It's so modern, great for the office, but you can also wear it for every day. Definitely one of the most lightweight metal watches that I've ever tried. And the fact that I've worn this every single day and it hasn't given me a terrible rash. I finally found my replacement for my metal watches. Amazing. And actually this one looks way more like mature and sleek. I feel like you get that nice glimmer of, you know, silver hardware without the added bulk. Great find for a watch under a hundred bucks. All right guys, so that does it for today's favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Everything mentioned in today's video will be listed down below in the description bar in case you guys want to check that out. Love you guys to death. Have an amazing rest of your week and I'll see you guys in a few days. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.